Thunder X could use could use Toxic. Oh, interesting, interesting. I would have thought it would have been immune to poison, but that's a good catch. Okay, we we definitely want to gear up for uh, for a fight uh, on this one. So let's see. We don't have the int to use. I think this is good actually. Yeah, you know, this is a good mixture of mixture of spells. We just want to. Yeah, let's use Crystal Magic Weapon and Repair, sure. Yeah, the, the Lava will do some damage uh, to you. So you have one to be able to repair it. We want Darker Green Ring. What do we have that's good against fire? I think the, the Xanthus... Oh, the Xanthus stuff is weak against fire. That's right. So we got the, the coat. All right, I think that'll do. We still in light? No, we're not in light. Yeah, all right, fine. The important thing is being able to flip through the lava. We don't really have any efficient way of dealing with it. And yeah, the the boss you can fight him in the corner if you have good fire resistance gear, good a good fire shield, you know, the dragon shield, or nothing else. If you have Solaire helping you out because his summon sign is here too, that will also work. But we don't we have access to none of that stuff. So we, we're going to have to do it the... We're going to have to get to a more uh, more opportune area. Guys, let's not pick on let's not pick on Solaire too much. <laughs> and so this is this is basically how you want to do it. You have a lot more room to work with over here, and even better, the centipede likes hanging out. He likes staying in the lava when he can. I think it's like kind of a neat touch. So you tend to get some room to work with. You can get you know, get some hits in on him uh, while he moves in. And just just to kind of also pull the uh, audience here. Did anybody else, you know, actually w w were actually surprised by the demon centipede actually being the critter, critter uh, on the wall and, you know, and animating for, for the for the fight? So I hadn't actually even seen it you know, earlier, so I thought it was pretty cool. Ah. In a way, this guy is kind of like the Hydra. You know, he tends to stay back and just attack you with a, with a reach attack. Yeah, if you actually do destroy his tail, you get the uh, orange or hard ring sooner than you normally would. Normally you get it after the when the fight's over. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead... Uh, I'm sorry to say it again, I'm gonna go ahead. Yeah. I'm gonna let him uh, do something, there we go. Chance to cast that because the homing crystal soul mass is such a good source of damage. You can see that is way more than my attacks. And I should do it. Nice. Yeah, I don't know why he got himself stuck in that wall there, but. Oh, he. Yeah, Wrath of Gods, I had seen him and I was on guard and I thought it was a trap. Well, kind of, as it happened. <laughs> okay. The Orange Charred Ring lets you uh, lets you walk through lava taking minimum damage. You still take some. You can see the health you know, gradually ticking down there. It's kind of like I was being hit with Toxic. I think you have to go yeah over here on this side. I think I think this is where the the path continues. There we are. Nope, nope, I was wrong. Okay, it is. I know it's close to here. 
There we go. <laughs> Do the DLC. You can't use any of its spells. Useless if you can use that. You can use that. Okay. <laughs> right, guys. By the time I let my guard down, he jumps down to the lava, and the boss fight starts playing. Yep. Oh, do you have to summon Solaire for the for the centipede from to appear here? Oops. I didn't think you did. I talked to him in uh, in Orlando. Hmm. Well, I guess let's try uh, walking somewhere else and coming back. Yeah, I just warp somewhere and then I. Yeah, I, I need to go buy some homeward homeward bones anyway. So I'll do that real quick. All right, let's purchase some homeward bones. Oh, it says I had one. I guess I didn't see it. All right, let's go back and uh, drop down to Dom Mall. Yeah, you can jump across the. Uh, the gap in, in, in Firelink, where the um, sword, the swordsman hollow lives, the hollow soldier. Yeah, you can uh, go, you can kill him and jump across right over there. However, I find it a lot safer if, if you're a wuss about it, like I am, to walk over here, hug the wall, and do it this way, and then as before, kind of block to keep your keep yourself on target, and then just go around. Yep, it's a platforming section to get to a merchant. I I don't know either. Hi, Shamai. Went up visit <laughs> visit the man in his cult. Yep. I'm Dolan of Zena. I'm just. <laughs> I wanted to go humor him, but the where's the sunlight? Just don't, don't, just don't do me any good so with, uh, with this character. Okay, he sells three gold pine resins. Let's clean them out. The master key, which we already have and, and don't need. Uh, crystal weapons, which we've got. Yeah, his his version of the crystal weapons have higher durability than usual, and uh, and fairly high damage, but cannot be upgraded. It's the only one you really want after the mid game or after the early game even is the crystal shield, which has very high durability and yeah, just look at it. I mean, it's it's a very solid shield. Okay, he sells his armor, the iron golem set, which is which is good stuff, and Ornstein's set. Okay, I think I'll go ahead and dupe a, a boss soul to go and clean out Ornstein stuff, so don't forget later. Thank you. If you go to New Game Plus, you do trick. lose the, uh, the this armor sets you can use after. Again soon. And we'll make it. <laughs> You'd think people would have a better way of determining if you have a worm inside your skull, but <laughs> apparently not. Okay, he's not here either. So I guess that means I missed a conversation in, in Orlando, huh? Okay. Well, I don't want to lose the bonfire I was at in Demon Ruins, because that's where he's going to be. Yeah, with Hidden Body, once you just get a decent amount away, they just completely lose track of you. Okay, he's still here. Alright. Oh, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. I have to imagine after the after the mistake with me not summoning him for the demon centipede and thinking that was a problem, I have to imagine that was a little sarcastically, you know, uh, were given. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I'd think you had feelings for me. <laughs> oh no, dear me. Pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> Well, this is where I would ask everybody to tell their favorite grossly incandescent joke, but you already did. <laughs> so let's let's just let's not let's not do that. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? Take a lot of free time. If I didn't know better. Oh, I okay. Think you wow. Feelings for me. Well, good luck with that then. Oh, no. Dear me, yeah. pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> okay. So I must not have gotten that dialogue. It seems like a really silly thing to do, be hung up on. You but, really? Okay. Did. Let's see if he's here now. I have to imagine this is another thing that kind of trips up newbies to, to Dark Souls. 
is not only it, you know a lot of these the things you know, with the NPCs optional, but a lot of times they're really easy to miss. Okay, now he's here. So yeah, I, I must have just ended up talking to him a uh, second time. Oh, hello there. Forgive me. I was just pondering about my poor fortune. I did not find. <laughs> It'd be an okay my sentence if you if you picked a girl as a character. Long, no, it's okay anyway. We don't judge here. <laughs> Where else might my son be? Lost Isolith, or the tomb of the Grave Lord? But I cannot give up. Oh, interesting. I, I don't know if I've ever gotten it. that dialogue. If I did, I must have, I must have skipped through it. the sun up above, it occurs to me, what if I'm seen as a laughing stock, as a blind fool without reason? Well, I suppose they wouldn't be far off. Ha ha ha. Yeah, the, the, the actor did a pretty good job with that delivery. You know, it's a legitimately nervous, you know, laugh there. Like, you can tell he's worried. Oh, hello there. If only. Okay. So with that out of the way, now let's see if he'll appear. The worst one is definitely the Rotten's boss room in Dark Souls 2. Oh, that is... That was agonizing trying to figure my way out of there. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. And this is how you know he, he's... Act yeah, when he's in the depths of despair, this is how you know he's okay. <laughs> Why? There's actually one more bonfire in the Lost Isolith part. I, I will get to that. I will get to that point. Then we'll turn human. Then we'll be a bed of chaos. And that'll probably do it for the night. So for now, actually, I think this loadout's pretty good. All right. Anybody playing along at home, following along, you're watching this on now or on, on YouTube when it's uploaded. Prepare. For the laziest part of this entire game. Yes, that is not one, two, three, four. There are about twenty of the the the, the bottom halves of dragons, dragon butts, as people like to call them, uh, in the scattered around the lava. Every single one of them has a jump attack that can probably one shot you if you're in light armor. They just do a lot of damage in general. They can stomp on you. They have a shockwave attack. Uh, they're really obnoxious to fight in melee, is what I'm saying. So we're not going to. <laughs> we are going to put on our blast ring. It would increase our damage. We are, we are going to hidden body to get close to them. And just completely unload. With uh, with magic, and we're gonna pick out. A, or we're just gonna clear out enough of them to uh, clear a path. Oh. Yeah, yeah, even with all of that, still almost killed in one hit. And the re reason I use Hidden Body there was to keep this guy from coming in. I don't know what determines their aggro range, if it's uh, sound, if it's um, light, but... <sighs> Your one saving grace with the, for the, the lunge attack is they can't uh, land anywhere that, uh, that has, has an overhead. That's why I'm trying to get back close to the, uh, to the gate I start, to the, uh, the branch I started out at. They always force him to, to use a tail attack, which is not good news for us either. Yeah. So, so, so that's the issue uh, here. That I'm going to talk to him at the shortcut. Do you have to do that before? Oh, you're, I think you're right. I think you're right. Okay. <laughs> right. So the, with a name like Wrath of the Gods, I trust his judgment on this one. <laughs> the dragon dies. Welcome to heaven. We're gonna have to <laughs> yeah, sending, sending half of you to hell, the other half stays. Is that what happened to... Uh, if Solomon had gone through cutting the baby in half, is that what have happened? You know, half goes. <laughs> okay, so back to the... So for the shortcuts, fastest way would be... 
Yeah, Daughters of Chaos, I just need to remember not to sit at that bonfire. And just running, run and get to the shortcut. Should be right about where the... Oh, interesting, he just spontaneously took some damage. Mostly from Solaire's aura. <laughs> Was it all a lie? Have I done this all for nothing? Oh, my dear son. What now? What should I do? My son. My dear, dear son. Was it all a lie? So, that's, that's pleasant. Yeah, it, the, the Dark Souls does not end well for pretty much every character <laughs> in the game. And if, and if anybody doesn't know, basically what the purpose of the, the Solera events are is if you've done all of them and he survives, you can summon him to help help you fight Gwyn, the last boss, which is a pretty great reward, you know, especially if you're having trouble with him. He's vulnerable to parries, he's vulnerable to magic, but, but Gwyn is tough, he's aggressive. And <laughs> Yeah, Wrath says, uh, drop the mag in front of his face. That, yeah, that's like giving, giving the recovering alcoholic, you know, a, bottle, a nice bottle of scotch. Let's not do that. <laughs> that is true, I don't need the maggot since I'm a, I'm a sorcerer. But but yeah, that's that's your reward, is you actually get a summon, an NPC summon to help you with Gwyn if you need it. If you don't, that's your last chance to kill him, to get his stuff. He has a unique talisman that's, that statistically is exactly the same as every other talisman, unfortunately. Statistically, it's the same as every other talisman, but it looks like a badminton racket or a badminton bird. That counts for something. I'm gonna open up with a soul spear. Oh, I missed. Uh, two soul spears doesn't quite do it. Interesting that, that with Hidden Body going, I can actually just kind of leisurely walk away from him, and that'd be far enough for him to do so in aggro. Okay, that's two down. This one should be the last one we need to get to the, the island here. Ouch. Missing the homing soul mass sucks. That's where a big source of my damage comes from. Oh, and as he sat up, the, uh, the, the uh, Moonlight Greatsword missed it, too. Did that just do nothing because of hitboxes? Oh, <laughs> did not see that happening. However, he's close enough. I should be able to finish him off with this before he attacks again. Oh, I was wrong. Okay. Well, that was ugly, but it worked. <laughs> and I kind of expected to run out of uses of that, so that's why I kept the uh, Crystal Magic Weapon attuned and had a backup weapon handy. <laughs> I don't need maggots, I'm a sorcerer. I say that in a random conversation. <laughs> If I was going to a D and D or a, or a nerdy uh, party, Wrath, I would keep that in mind. But I don't think that would work out too well for me. The kind of places I'd probably be going. <laughs> Great, I'll probably be hitting New Year's Eve parties. I'm a driver for Uber right now, and I have a feeling I'll be spending a lot of time just taking drunk people away from their parties on New Year's Eve. Soul of a Great Hero, as, as we I found out completely by accident, those are worth twenty thousand, a cool twenty thousand souls, uh, pop. Only a handful of them in, in the entire game, as you might imagine. Okay, he's a feast fake too. So, yeah, he, this is the only other real one. Okay, our next stop is right through there. And there's looks like there's two in the way from, from this angle. Can't I hit him from here? It should be close enough. Yeah, there we go. One fun thing is that with the uh, with the building itself in the way, it limits the area they can hit you with. The tail can still clip through the walls and get you, but there's pretty much no way they can jump on you. 
Yeah, they just land outside, like where they where they were. So if you see them jump, it's actually a good chance to get some hits in. Until of course they knock you, uh, knock you down. Ow. I I have very mixed feelings about the about the boss. It's a, it's a puzzle boss, kind of like what they used to do in Demon Souls a couple of times. And they they have their place, you know, they, they really do. The the Dragon God was almost a blast to, to fight in, in Demon Souls. But and you'll see when we get there, the execution is off on on the boss here. I, I think they may I think they kind of patted themselves on the back for it being too clever by half about it not being the Witch of Isolith, you know, spoilers, <laughs> that they didn't really, you know, put, put much thought into what a good fight would actually be. So once again, Soul, Soul, Homing Soul Mask, Crystal Soul Spear, we're gonna run right in. Wow, it actually comped me there. Yeah, I was tapping the roll button trying to get out and that didn't work. But yeah, that's why I kept that's why I kept to being invisible for that part. Okay. And then who's the one that joined in that spoiled our fun last time? Was it that? Huh. I think I think there might have I think it might have been Yeah, th those guys can hurt each other. It's kinda of, kinda of neat. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if one of them they just crunched the other one. Yeah, Wrath agrees. Bed of Chaos is broken. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good word for it. It's just not not a good fight. There, are, and I think this is the wall I'm looking for. Yep. But before we before we use it, let's go ahead. And, oh no, let's let's use it. But yeah, you can use the the uh, the branches of the arch tree here to uh, to get up it. Oh, not that one. This one. Okay, that could have gone better. I, I haven't been able to. I haven't had the issue of getting past them before. A new quick game glitch. Yes, I'll, I'll probably do that as well. It's uh, well, I might. Yeah, it's, you can also do a kind of similar thing with uh, with Homer Bones. Yeah, I've got a bonfire right here. Throw out some goodies on it. Nice. I love when a plan comes together. If they if those guys had dropped dragon scales, they could have been a little more worthwhile. And just kind of lame as it is. Yeah, I thought I could. I thought you could uh, get up on the on the top of this. Was I misremembering things? Oh, it's over here. Thunder X. I'd like to run through here, get them all on me, and then go to the top of the building. That is a good plan. I should have thought of that. <laughs> the only the only issue with that I would see is you'd have to do them in groups because they tend to lose aggro pretty quickly. Yeah, that's one reason why the hidden body trick works so well for me. Is the the range they 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 stop uh, chasing you is actually very short as it is, so it becomes basically nothing with uh, with hidden body. All right, we get some humanities. Kindle the sucker. Oh, can I oh, unhollow first? <laughs> Yeah, I think that's what happened to the one that interfered with the fight last time. He killed the other guy and ran in to finish me off. Yeah, we're returning human because the last appearance of Kirk is coming up. And I'm, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to kindle, or uh, use the rite of kindling to get a couple more Estus flasks. They're actually kind of useless in, in dealing with the boss, and, and we'll see why. It's not really an endurance match. As such, your, your gravity is the big risk there, with a little nudge from, from the boss, of course. Uh, it's actually, a, I, I've tried using uh, Iron Flesh. If you, maybe if you go full Havels and then toss in Iron Skin, it might be enough to not get swept by, uh, by the boss, but it's still really obnoxious. Okay, 
how about... And so the issue, too, is because the boss is a puzzle boss, there's not really much you can do to, to make this part easier. And I think I'm probably going to be... There's a trick you can do with a bow, which we can't use because of the, the challenge run stipulations. You know, if I, a bow isn't a one-handed weapon. I'll go ahead... I'll bring some soul arrows along regardless. You know, see if we maybe can put up, pull out the binoculars and use those. But I'm not, I'm not counting on it. There's another thing that's pretty easy to miss. The destination of the next part of Isleth is through here. You wouldn't really expect that. You might be looking for a fog door, looking for a path or something. But it's... Ooh, armor risk. Okay. Uh, which armor? All of them. Right. In that case, let's just go... Let's just go cast repair. <laughs> Yeah, the lava does steady damage to all of your equipment as well as as well as your health. Uh, right, a tune, tune repair. Actually, repair. <laughs> yeah, repair repair repairs everything you've got on you. Yeah, you can see the resistance is already popping back up. There we are, back to full. Good stuff. Definitely one of the handiest spells. If you lose access to Dusk, like you know, if she dies by telling her no, um, uh, Iron Flush counters the stun. Uh, Wrath of Gods points out he sweeps everything down. Yeah, yeah I was afraid of that. It, it, yeah, this the spell should be amazing, but it's just not. Okay. I may use Hidden Body uh, later, because in retrospect, Sol Solera won't do us any good that Great Solera wouldn't. So, let's get that. Alright, through here. This will take you up a branch, and this will lead us back to the part we were at earlier, with the shortcut across the bridge through the Titanite Demon, you know, over the hill, through the woods. Here in this house we go. You can't use a bow, good luck. Yeah, <laughs> yep, thank you. <laughs> I have beaten Bed of Chaos the, the legitimate way a couple times. And a lot of it really comes down to being lucky with the, the sweep timing. And that sucks, because normally you could have a shield to, if you if you have, if you you have think you're going to get blown back, but not knocked down, you can just try to block. You know, hope, you can hope for the best. Uh, if you're unlucky, there, there's nothing you can do. Yes, I have turned human, and I will be dealing with both of the NPCs here. Oh, Wrath of Gods, back in the day, Iron Flush was the only spell everyone used. Uh, what, how, how was it different back then? These guys can drop red Titanite chunks as well. I should probably have put on the Covetous Ring uh, for them. Okay. Uh, can I... Yeah, she actually hasn't, hasn't aggroed yet. There she is. If you get close, I think you can actually see glowing eyes in the in, in the hood. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah, kind of. Oh, I bet if I oh darn it, <laughs> so you're gonna use hidden body to to, to uh, get it from further away. Wow, that's quite some distance on the on those uh, on the chaos firestorm. There's another one. Let's get out of here. Ouch! Yeah, I try, I try to make that one a fair fight because normally uh, you get, you have some time to deal with the witch before Kirk moves in. So yeah, I was kind of playing around and letting them both you know, fight, seeing if that would make it harder. I was not expecting to be one shotted by the. Uh, by the Chaos, Chaos, uh, Chaos Firestorm. Oh, apparently, yeah, Wrath mentions in the original days, uh, the Iron Iron Flesh would can't, would make attacks uh, deflect against you, like a granted deflection, like you're using a Great Shield. Wow, yeah, that would have, that would have made it good, but yeah, I could, I could see that being, being too good. Oh, we have to turn human again.
You need a curse too. I hadn't caught that part. Wow. <laughs> Oh, and even grab attacks wouldn't work on you. Jeez. I, now, I, I do think that some of that utility should still have been in the game. I mean, making yourself immune to grabs, you know, it, it costs us some trade-off. Like the, the extra slowdown and encumbrance that Iron Flush does. Yeah, I can see that being useful. But having, having one spell do everything and basically making you invincible, yeah, I agree that's a bit much. It is just one of those unfortunate... Uh, unfortunate issues that you know, happens a lot with you know with multiplayer games that if something is too good then they just nerf it too far and never go back to fix it because hey nobody's using it so it's no longer a problem right and, and, and game design is hard but I you know it's a, it's a little bitter about that stuff you told me before starting the fight yes. Yeah, like I mentioned, I wanted to I wanted to give it give them a fair fight before I went nuts on the witch before before Kirk showed up. You absolutely can just two shot her with uh, with the uh, holding soul mass and a, and a and a soul spear, you know, before anybody gets started. Okay. So let's do crystal magic weapon. Tag, you're it. Yeah, that's, that's what I was afraid of. She's just a little too fragile. Oh, uh, Kirk ignores the... Uh, ignored the hidden body, though. There we go. Yeah, neither one of them has very high magic resistance, so it's just easy to destroy them with the with the with high, high, the sorcery. Yeah, I agree with Devon. Uh, as far as PvP goes, combustion and great combustion are still really good. You know, there's been more than a couple times where well, I was doing like a magic PvP character. To, yeah, he, yeah, he does admit that's an exception. That yeah, especially with the high cast speed, you know, the 45 decks, where you can just cha you know stun somebody, you know, you know, you know pound, just get them in the corner. With great combustion, your one shot bounces your shield off, and then you finish them off. You pretty much everything else is tough to use, though, and you'll never land a hit with with fireball against somebody who knows what, what they're doing. Okay, I forgot to put on the the covetous ring, but yeah, no, no big deal. Yeah, trying to cast any kind of. Yeah, Thunderax points out the, the Havel's shield buff. Yeah, if you didn't know about this, if you hit uh, L2, like you're trying to do a shield bash with Havel's great shield, it gives you some kind of like really cool crystalline, like an armor debuff, like an armor buff, you know, and it, yeah, it is very, it is very cool. <sighs> All right. So, Bed of Chaos. Bed of chaos. Where do you where do you even start? <laughs> okay, so the gimmick with the bed of chaos is that you know you're expecting the witch of Isla if you get this giant plant monster. The it, it's it's weird. The actual uh, the actual chaos bug is well it's a bug. Uh, in the very back you have to get that part last. Those barriers can be uh, you can be rolled into. They can be destroyed. And that will, those are the phases of the fight. You know, you have to do one, two, three, well, you can do the other two, the other two in any order. And the boss gets increasingly, you know, more destructive as time goes on. Uh, thr thr you know, thrashes around more, the stage gets destroyed. If you have a bow, you can get over here. And this is for somebody. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Wrath. You stand right about here, you'll be safe from whatever attack she's using at that point. And you, can, you see that glowing, that, that kind of uh, orange glow at the uh, kind of the middle of my screen right now. Yeah, you can take a bow to it and just destroy that. And then that's it. I don't think we'll be able to do that. I'm going to try. That's why I got the uh, 
Uh, so I got some great soul arrows and uh, my binoculars out. Well, I got the binoculars to try to scope the, the witch, because I think he has glowing red eyes, but yeah, I wasn't able to do that. Yeah, it's too, it's too far away. Yeah, I'm not even destroying the branches there. So we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. And... That involves the boss being completely docile. Until you get close. I do admit, it's a very cool design. Okay, the issue here is that the boss continually sweep the... continually pound the area for all of your health. <laughs> Whew. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is is wait for the, the, first, the first, like, pattern of attacks. You know, the, the fire blade, the sweep, and the smash. And just try to just start rolling past and see if that actually works. That time I got smashed. That time I got hit by the, by the uh, flame. Okay. So if you can't hit me here, let's say sweep one. And okay, I can flip through. All right. Whew. Two of them down. Strange as it sounds, the, the hard part is actually over, in, in my opinion. I mean, it, it's still obnoxious. You know, I'm probably going to die just trying to get back to uh, to where I was. But the... Well, especially if I get hung up on the uh, the roots there. Oh! I didn't get knocked off too far with the angle I was at. I don't care much about dying at this point. I want to... There we go. Reveal where the center is. Now, the trick at this part is she starts sweeping with both hands... And, you know, and of course, pounding the entire central area, too. And you have to time it. And it's easier with a shield, if she just knocks you away. You, 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 can, you can possibly try again. But you have to time it so that you don't get swept to the ground um, while you're trying to make the jump here. Uh, I had it and didn't. I, and I got the roll instead of the jump. Otherwise, I would have had it. And I think in I think it was in Dark Souls 2 where they they codified it that enemies that use the player model could not be hit on the ground, and the ones that didn't could. But there, there's some inconsistencies even there. And if you're curious, that's what, that item I keep running by. Uh, that oh hello what hey there's a vagrant up there. I promise to show one off, and there he is. I don't think I can get to him from down here, though. Let's see. Can we go around? I don't think I can get around from here. Well, let's see. Yeah. And you can't go back here, can you? No. Hmm. Well, I know there is a way to get up there, and that's where that item is. Let's see if we can do it. Because all of a sudden, I'm really curious what the what the vagrant's uh, holding. <laughs> and a nice opportunity to soul spear right through with you guys. 
so rare, you gotta take advantage of it. Okay. It'll probably be back around the other side. Yeah, if you t if you don't if you go left if you go right instead of left, you have this part. It will take you to where we were earlier from the shortcut. And yeah, you can actually even if you don't have the shortcut, you can still go through it this way, come around the long way, and still fight the Titanite demon. It's obviously a much longer slog, and you have more of these guys to fight through, but you can do it. Yeah, I think we lost the lost the vagrant. Darn it. Ah. So disappointing. We finally see one and it's in a spot where we can't get it. <laughs> I think anyway. Yeah, that's over there. Is this where we go? Yeah, I think this is where we go to get around. Okay, yeah, here, yeah, here we go. Here's where the soul is. Is the vagrant still here? I don't think they run away like the lizards do. Aha! They're, they're really weird enemies. You yeah, look at them. They have a spine attack. They do a, they do a moderate amount of damage. Not, not too bad. Okay. Humanity. Ah, lame. It's like the most boring thing that could be in a vagrant. But yeah, somebody asked at, at early on, I think like the second episode, if we'd ever show off a... Vagrant. I said, I don't have much control in it, but I would see what I could do. Well, well, there we are. All right, Bed of Chaos. <laughs> Time to put you to sleep. Oh, terrible. I imagine that the Bed of Chaos is worth enough souls. This will probably be what sets the Egghead off. I would, I would hope, anyway. We've been carrying this thing around for a while. I'm still amazed I haven't lost my blood stain yet. Okay, there's a sweep. Oh, this time we got close enough to do the sweep right at the start. Ow. This got tons of Estus, you know. Okay. Sweep one. Sweep two. Want to. Well, I survived, but... Okay, I need... I just need a... clean... dodge. Ah! I'm not gonna get one because of the... on the ground. He was aggressive that time. Uh, the fire, constant firestorms, you know, uh, slamming down everything. Alright, bit of chaos. Let's call, let's call this one. This one 13. This will be my this will be my unlucky number. Yeah, that almost worked last time. I think if it was, if I did do more of a uh, what would that be? A 270 degree angle, I think, something like that. You know, almost just a, almost to, almost though it was straight ahead and a well, double firestorm. Yeah, that looks, that looks right about the distance I've got. Alright. So the, the, the hardest part is... is over with now. I was lucky in that when I tried to block to get a little bit of, of a chance to... Yeah, I was lucky that time in that what I tried to do was hit triangle to to switch hands 
you know, then block the the firestorm. You know, try to get a chance to survive. Oh. Yep, that was the, that was the last soul I needed. Our our head is glorious now. And that will definitely do it for me. Thank you for the help, Thunder X. That that was uh, ended up kind of you know going through the usual blunder right through it. You know, roll through things uh, as I am wont to do. But the uh, the tip to try walking off the side definitely helped. You know, it it's easier to to clear time to do to walk. You know, to get close to it and walk by rolling through the hands than to do what I do, which is you know basically take a hit, block a hit, maybe. And then you line up a chance to jump, which is what I had been doing. So, but yeah, that is that. We are, we are ho fully hollowed, zero humanity. We have one boss zone left, and a couple things to do. It it has been great. Thanks for thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, you know, you've been a great audience. You know, thanks for the help. And I'll hang around for a little bit if you.